More progress on the road to reopening this morning. Some major COVID restrictions are being lifted in the state of Connecticut. And for the first time since the pandemic began, you could catch a film at a New York City movie theater. CBS News' John Diaz live this morning from a theater on 34th Street in Midtown with more on that. John. Yeah, good morning to both of you. Well, last to open in New York Steep, it's certainly not the least. It has been almost a year since New Yorkers saw a movie on the big screen here in the Big Apple. Many people eager to get back to all of it. Of course, though, it may look a little different. This morning, New York City and the rest of the Tri-State area continue to make more ground on the road to reopening. Starting today, city movie theaters can welcome back guests with 25% capacity and no more than 50 people per screen at a time. Masks and social distancing will be required, except when eating and drinking, and there will be assigned seating. This comes nearly five months after Westchester and Long Island theaters reopened, including the island's oldest one, Belmore Movies and Showplace, in business since 1908. Think about it. It survived the Spanish flu and it has survived COVID. Also happening today, billiard halls can reopen statewide, but are restricted to 50% capacity outside of New York City, 35% capacity inside. And in New Jersey, wedding receptions can go to 35% indoor capacity, up to 150 people and 150 people outdoors as well. And other aspects of life are beginning to feel a little bit more normal. But Connecticut loosening up restrictions the most in the area. So while we're lifting um, the capacity limits, we are going to maintain the mask and the spacing requirements. Starting March 19th, all capacity limits will be lifted for restaurants, retail, gyms, offices, personal services, museums, and houses of worship, elating many business owners and managers. It's going to double the numbers that we've been doing lately and uh, be able to get everyone back to work. All sports will be allowed to practice and compete, tournaments too, but subject to health department guidance. Movie theaters and performing arts venues remain capped at 50% capacity and an 11 p.m. curfew remains for restaurants as well as an eight person limit per table. I'm just going to keep the bars closed if there's just a drinking establishment for a little bit longer. Then by April 2nd, outdoor amusement parks can open, outdoor venues can increase to 50% capacity, and indoor stadiums can reopen at 10% capacity. And back here in New York, weddings and other catered events can resume statewide on March 15th, of course, though, with plenty of restrictions. We are live this morning from Midtown Manhattan. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.